There's a quote from Mahatma Gandhi that I want to share with you that relates to marketing. So he said, always aim at complete harmony of thought and word and deed. Always aim at purifying your thoughts and everything will be well. And of course, he had the authority to say something like this because he did live his life in, in such a way. Um, in marketing, then when we try to make, to, to grow our business, and when we try to share content, some people make the mistake of mixing content and selling. And I, I you know, I kind of just always assumed that you all knew not to mix the two, but I, I did, I realize now that I need to really clearly make a stand and say, stop mixing content and selling. Here's what I mean. Have you ever been watching someone's video and it started out so well, like they've, they're telling you a story or they're, they're educating you on some interesting information and then somewhere along the line, along the video, it's, it, it turns into a sales pitch. Now, instead of just telling you the story, the whole thing was setting you up to tell you about their product or about their service or about their program. Same thing if you've ever been reading a social media post or a blog post, whatever. It starts out so well. It's, oh, what an entertaining story or, or idea. But then somewhere halfway down or at the 75% mark, they'd start turning it into, well, that's why you should join my program. That's why you should buy this from me or buy that from me. And I understand. I, I understand why people do that because they feel bad. Somehow they feel bad about just selling directly. Somehow is selling directly supposed to be a bad thing? If an audience likes you and trusts you, let me. This is a real question for you. Do you feel bad just going to your audience and say, "Hey, I've got this product, and this is for people who are dealing with this issue, or are reaching, trying to reach that goal, or are like passionate about this? I've got this product or this service. And if you are, if, if I've just described you, I hope you'll you'll consider buying it. Very simple, right? So. Really, I think we succeed in marketing when we are of pure heart, whether we are selling or whether we are making content. So for example, whenever you watch my videos like this, I hope you don't feel that, oh, I'm suddenly trying to sell you something, right? Most of my videos, right, are in articles. They just, I'm just trying to educate you. I'm just trying to share something that's like a passionate idea that I wish more people understood. I'm trying to share it. And if you benefit from it, wonderful. But I have no intention whether you ever buy a single thing from me. And that, that is where I think where the authentic power comes in. Authentic empowerment of yourself is when you share content knowing that everybody watching this, they might never buy a single thing from me. So I don't owe them anything except I owe them my authentic presence. I owe myself my authentic presence. I don't have to perform. I'm not trying to be polished or make you think I'm so great so you'll buy something or praise me. No, I'm here just to share with you my honest explorations and I'm like, wow, people don't get it or I, I, it's something that I understand. A lot of people don't understand so I'm going to share it from my perspective. Some people might disagree and that's okay too. So that's what I mean by content purity is to just show up. Don't try to sell anything. Not a single thing you should try to sell when you're making content, making your video, writing your article, making your Instagram post, etc. And at the same time, you should also consistently sell things, but in different posts, not the same post. Okay, so if a post is trying to sell something, you know when I'm trying to sell something to you. I mean, you've seen me do it. You know, if it's on Instagram, it's the one minute videos because I, I want to run ads on Instagram and I'm going to run one minute video ads is the maximum uh, video length is one minute for Instagram ads, right? So whenever you see my one minute ads uh, on Instagram, you know, oh, well, sometimes some of the one minute ads are actually content, but some of the one minute ads are, are selling you something. But when I sell you something, I'm very, I'm very frank in the beginning. I'm just like, I've got an online course. I hope you'll consider joining if you're dealing with this issue, if you're trying to reach that goal, if you're passionate about this. I come up right right out front and says, hey, will you pay me money for something I've got? And I'll tell you what it is. 
You can choose not to pay me money. Of course not. <laughs> you know, do you see what I mean? So when you're selling, sell, sell passionately, sell honestly, and just sell. That's it. Not trying to like charm them with a story and no, 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 no. just sell. Just because remember, I mean, I'm well, not remember. Some of you are new to me, but we, I only sell to audiences that already know who I am. See, the problem that you might be trying to sell to people who don't know who you are, it's kind of like getting someone to sleep with you on the first date, right? I mean, it could happen, right? But it's just, it's like a lot of, you know, um, and it's occasionally it's like the perfect fit, but that's, that's the point. Occasionally it's the perfect fit, but most of them it's not the perfect fit, and you have to like try to, you know, manipulate people into doing something. So when you're selling, Sell to people who already know you, like you, and trust you. So therefore, you can be very transparent. You don't have to be manipulative. You don't have to be uh, too strong-arming. You just be like, hey, friends. It's more like, hey, friends, I've, I've got this thing coming. I'm really excited. That's when, you're, that's when you're selling. And when you are giving content and sharing your honest thoughts, do that with pure intent too. And, and in that case, you don't have to say, hey, friends, because a lot of people who see it might not know you. They're just encountering you for the first time. You're there just to bless them. You're there just to uh, be honest with them. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Separate your content from your selling, and your business, I think, will go better. I hope this helps. I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I love talking about how do we build a business truly with heart, not just in name, but truly with heart. And it feels good to our conscience. It feels good to the audience. All right, I hope to see you in another video. Take care.